Hey guys, M13 here, and I recently got a PS3. Yes, it's a big step for me. And um, one of the things a PS3 can do is it, it can connect to your computer, and you can access all your pictures, videos, and music straight from straight through your living room TV setup through the PS3. And uh, I did some searches online for how to do this, and they gave me most of them tell you to go to like Windows Media Player, you go to Library, you go to Media, Sharing, and then it says Share My Media to, and you click on your PS3. And as you can see, my PS3 doesn't show up. So I, you know, I find like three different pages telling me to do this, and I go through the steps, and of course, it doesn't work for me. And then they tell you, oh, you need to enable this, you need to change this, you need to go to your, you need to forward these ports and all this stuff. And I'm too stupid to do any of that. Luckily, there's another solution. You go to this website here. It's, uh, I'll put the link in the video description. So just click on the video description and you can click and go straight here. And you download, you download PS3 Media Server. And what that is, is this. It's a program that just opens up a little box and it finds your PS3, boom. And then you can close the box and it just sits down here, this little, this little green arrow is it running. And what it does is, see, if you use the normal method, if you use, uh, if you use like Windows Media Player and you go to library and etc and you click add you, and you add these different folders to media sharing you have to click each individual folder and unlike share them but by using this by using this thing here this program uh, it Java PS3 media server by using this it actually opens up your entire computer and I'll show you that Okay, here we have my PS3, and if you go to, and if you see if you could go to video here, you can see it says PS3 Media Server. Go to music, same thing. Photos, same thing. And if you click on it, well, let's go to music. It's a bit safer. <laughs> I'm gonna show you a bunch of pictures of myself. So we click on PS3 Media Server for music, and then look at we have every you have D, you have every drive. D. Batman, large drive, 200 gigs, 200 gigs, K is Steam, web, video settings. I think I put my music in large drive. You click on it, all your folders are there. Battle, Age of Empires, Battle Chess, Cyberlink, Games 2, Jade's Tiger videos. <laughs> new videos, new videos. So, yeah, your whole computer is accessed. But because right now we're we're looking for music, it'll only show you music. So if I click on Battleship Chess, click on data, oh hey, hey, look at that, it has the waves for the video game. But it'll only find music because we're looking for music. So you, you don't, so even though it looks like you, you got a lot of stuff to look through here because it's your whole hard drive, it actually isn't your whole hard drive. It's kind of, it's just the music filtered. But you, So all you can see is folders and the music that's in them. Anything else you won't see. So it's not quite as cluttered as it looks. Same thing with video. If you click on video and go into some folders, you'll only see the videos that are in those folders and everything else is not. Of course, you need your uh, PS3 hooked up to your network box. I run mine up the stairs here and then to my computer room and I hook it up to the back of the router because I split it between two computers and, and the PS3. So that's all you need, guys. The, the, link, the link is in the side. So if you have a PS3 and you have some... Oh, another... Th yeah, and there's another uh, bonus to this I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a separate video about.